Hey guys, this is the Nuglet. Today I'm going to be doing a response video. Um, it was put up by Censor. It's her Sunday talk on the Baltimore protests. The reason I wanted to respond to this video is due to the incredibly ignorant racism that she profounds throughout the entire video, uh, notating specifically in one, one moment in the video that uh, no one should be racist, but then throughout the rest of the whole fucking clip, she's just going on and on and on about how white people are, are the problem on thing, or different issues and, and how uh, she has no problem at all about violence towards uh, white people or white establishments. Um, she only cares about black life, things of that sort. So I just wanted to point out a few things that she says in this video that really bothered me. So just uh, check out the video, tell me what you think afterwards. Hey guys, it's me, Seren. Um, so this is a rare Sunday video. You guys know um, I normally take weekends off and I don't post on the weekends. Um, but I wanted to make this quick video about uh, what's happening in Baltimore. As you guys can probably tell, I am filming this video on my phone uh, because of the issues that I'm having with my computer. Uh, but don't worry, I will be posting my Oyen um, review video tomorrow, Monday. It was already pre-recorded and uploaded, uh, thankfully, and I have some other videos that are also already pre-recorded and uploaded that will be coming um, this week while I work out my computer situation. Um, I did want to talk briefly about what's going on in Baltimore, which is basically that, you know, they're protesting, they're rioting over the death of Freddie Gray. Um, things have gotten violent over the weekend. Um, I believe 35 people were arrested yesterday, Saturday, six cops were injured, something like that. You know, the people, the people are angry, they're frustrated, they're angry, they're taken to the streets. Um, they damaged some, some property, some businesses, and some cars, and they lit some stuff on fire, and I'm sure we've all seen those videos going around on Tumblr of them, like, throwing trash cans at white people. So right here, you can see exactly how racist this woman is. She immediately begins to laugh during her first example of this, this violent backlash against the white people in the area. And, I mean, she's talking about them being assaulted with trash cans, which I guess could be kind of funny if you're thinking of small plastic trash cans that probably don't hurt. But I have a feeling that they're those big, hulky, fucking metal or stone trash cans that are in public streets, and they're being hurled at these people, and she finds it hilarious. I mean, this it doesn't make sense to me that she could be so aware of this racism. Uh, against her own people, uh, she likes to say, she'll say that later in the video, her people, um, but she she doesn't care at all about white people. She has no empathy towards someone of a different color. It's sad. I mean, I, I thought we were past this. I thought before I was ever fucking born we were past this, but there are people still out there who want to keep it alive. Let's. Uh, it gets better. I mean, let's let's hear what else she has to say which I don't care. I don't feel bad about that. I feel like, there, and there's tons of people saying, oh, well, they shouldn't be doing that. They shouldn't be doing that. They shouldn't be doing that. I feel like you can't tell people what to do at this point. How about white people shouldn't be killing us? How about cops shouldn't be killing us? How about, you know, l things that shouldn't be happening? People shouldn't be racist. I like that. I really like the idea of people not being racist, but clearly, Censor, you're a fucking idiot and you don't know how to avoid being racist. They shouldn't be singing about, you know, hanging us from trees. Like I said, they shouldn't be tasing us to death. I just heard of another death, um, Irvin, I believe, Irvin Edwards, I believe, you know, tased to death. You know, they shouldn't be shooting us to death, beating us to death, tasing us, and getting away with it. Doesn't matter if there's videotape, doesn't matter if there's recording, doesn't matter if it's done in public, doesn't matter if you're a cop, not a cop, security guard, armed citizen, vigilante. They need to stop killing us and get, getting away with it. Now, this statement makes a ton of sense. Uh, I mean, I, I'm pissed off at the way that the police have been able to abuse their power lately, but she is putting only the focus on African Americans. It seems like, uh, I mean, they're they're abusing their power against everyone in this country, against all colors, of all demographics. Really, I mean, it's not just against blacks or or any one color. I mean, fucking take your pick. It's against everyone, and they shouldn't be allowed to get away with it. Absolutely, you're fucking right. But when you start start actually lashing out at all of the people of a given color just because you're mad at a few. You are now demonizing yourself and segregating yourself. You, your movement 
it has limits at this point. I mean, you, really all she wants here is all black people to band together to stop this. That's not going to fucking do the trick. You need all black people, all white people, all Latinos, all Asians, all, all Jews. You need everyone to come together against this totalitarian state, not just one group that feels oppressed more than the other. Because the fact of the fucking matter is no one is more oppressed than the other right now. It is everyone against one system. And people like this are are trivializing it. They're marginalizing it. They're making the movement harder by breaking into smaller factions warring against each other and then against this system that they're so, so misrepresented by. But it's all of us. It's not just you. So until that day comes, I personally feel like you cannot tell these people what they should and shouldn't be doing. They light a business on fire. If it's a black-owned business, then I have a problem. If they're lighting white-owned businesses on fire, you think I give a fuck? I don't. I Are you fucking kidding me? What's the, I mean, what's the reason that white people should care about your business with this type of mentality? You're part of the fucking problem, censor. You are segregating your own fucking people in this regard. You care about black but not white? Why should white care about black at that point? I mean, you have to extend the same respect to someone to receive the respect that you're requesting. And, and you're not doing this. You are absolutely marginalizing this issue that is a totalitarian state unlawfully killing people by abusing their power. You're disregarding the entire fact that it is more than just black people. You're putting yourself on a pedestal acting like you're a fucking snowflake. You're not. You are not special. You are not unique. We are all part of the, the same struggle here. And that struggle is against the police state. It is not against the white man. There, I mean, I'm not sure if you've noticed this, Censor. There are black police officers. Not only that, there are white people that get killed by police. You are a fucking idiot. It's painful, in all honesty. When you say things like this, it's fucking painful to endure. I don't. I do not. I don't. I don't care. They're angry, and they have a right to be angry. We have a right to be hostile. Our people are being persecuted. All people are being persecuted. You know? Stop telling these people what they should and shouldn't be doing, how they need to be your docile, happy Negroes. You are actually the first person I've heard say docile, happy Negro. Nobody's requesting that from you. No one's requesting that from the fucking rioters in Baltimore. They're requesting that they're not violent, and they're requesting that they're not destroying businesses. These are people's livelihoods. They're angry, and they have a motherfucking right to be. We are being exterminated. Exterminated? Really? Exterminated? This is the worst and slowest extermination I can imagine, if it, that's what it is. But it's not. It is nothing more than a fucking police state trying to control people through fear and, you know, power. But, you know, not in your eyes. No, no, no. In, in your eyes, it is the white man coming down on the black man all over again, right? Give me a fucking break, censor. Wake up. Wake up. Now, if you don't want to protest and you don't want to march and you feel some type of way about the violence or whatever, you know, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I feel like, you know, everyone is allowed to have their own ideology. As Ghazi says, every revolution is not for everyone. If you want to have a more peaceful revolution, you guys already know what I think you should do. Economic re revolution. Hit them where it hurts. Hit them with your wallet. Stop buying. Stop supporting the white-owned American economy. Put Stop buying and stop purchasing the white-owned American economy. Let's not forget that YouTube is owned by Google. And the man that owns Google, his name is Larry Page. He's an old fucking white man. And you, by making videos, are bringing money directly to his fucking wallet. Not only that, but after so many thousand views, don't you receive money from that white man? Isn't that right? I mean, you, you're calling for a boycott and, you know, hit him where it hurts, hit him in their pocketbook. But at the same time, you're helping the white man's business by putting these fucking videos up.
put your money into black owned businesses, into small businesses. That's all I can tell you to do. But all this, you know, and you have people that, you know, we live in this capitalist ass society where people clearly put more value on money, on goods, on economics, on buildings than they do on lives and on especially black lives. You have so, I mean, that little statement started off great going off on the economy and people being materialistic. I completely feel for you, Censor. I agree with you in every regard there. And I think it is a travesty that people value money and these material goods more than human lives. But then you put the cherry on the fucking cake of ignorance by saying, especially black lives, because you're fucking better than the rest of us. How dare you? People that don't even blink at hearing that another black unarmed black person was killed. Don't even blink at seeing video of black people getting killed. Don't even blink. Run to make excuses as to why that person deserved it. But they get so hurt and up in arms when they see that a building, a building, was destroyed. They care more about buildings than black lives. So I'm not quite sure who she's referring to here. I, I mean, I've never actually come across a human being who cared more about a building than another human being. But I would assume if there was one, it would be the building owner and that building owner who made their livelihood with that building and business within it. Chances are, when that building was destroyed, maybe they didn't have the fucking insurance to rebuild it. And now, their entire life's work, and all of their money, and their children's future, not just their own, but their children's future is at stake. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some people would take that stance, and I'm sure that some people would be in the right, considering it's their own life, their spouse, and their children, and possibly even their grandchildren's life, versus one. But then again... The building was not responsible for the death of, of, of anyone. I mean, it, this, is, this is like a, a child throwing a tantrum that they didn't get the popsicle they wanted, so they broke the fucking refrigerator. It, it doesn't make sense, Censor. It does not make any sense what you were talking about. Let that sink in before you fix your face to say, well, they shouldn't be destroying property. You care more about buildings than you do black life, and that's disgusting. It's not one or the other. I, we're upset about both. I know I am. I'm upset that this man was killed by police because he could have easily been detained for whatever crime he may have committed. But no, he was killed due to spinal injuries, probably had the shit kicked out of him in the back of the van, I'm sure, until they broke his back. To be upset that a man has died does not mean that it's fine for buildings to be destroyed that other people own who in no way were part of that situation now had the building owner been the person who killed that man gotcha i mean that's that's a great way to respond to it but it's not it's a fucking business owner a small business owner like you just previously talked about how we need to support small businesses this was a small business i'm sure of it but it wasn't a black business so you don't care the people are angry and they have a right to be angry and they have a right to take to the streets now like i said if they're burning down black owned businesses i have an issue with that because we need to leave the black owned businesses untouched and let the black owned businesses flourish white owned properties i don't give a fuck and and downtown baltimore is already you know a huge target for gentrification just like washington dc all white people trying to do is come in and take over and take the property away from us anyway Okay, so I live in Austin, Texas, and uh, yeah, a lot of white people, a lot of black people here, um, and mixed, you know, it's, it's not much of, you know, one color in certain neighborhoods, and we're seeing gentrification all over our downtown area and expanding outward because the city's growing. Uh, gentrification is essentially required for growing metropolises uh, as the space runs out and more people want to live in the heart of the city. That's class war. That is not race. Okay, I have been the victim of gentrification and I am almost fucking see-through I'm so white. I mean, I, I've never tanned in my life. I just burn. I, and I have been the victim of this gentrification you're talking about. The white man was actually the business owner, but uh, everyone in my my area uh, was not just black. I, I mean, there there was people from all 
walks of life. Um, it, it's amazing that you think that gentrification only affects black people, almost as though you think the only poor people are black. Uh, it's, it's, it's hilariously sad that you have that outlook. Uh, I mean, it almost seems as though you yourself are putting black people at this lower place and saying that if you're black, uh, you know, good luck, the, the world's against you. That's not the fucking way it is. I mean, you, you're a sad individual, to be honest. I mean, you spend your days on YouTube doing these videos and shit, and, and you have these strong opinions, and you want to go protest, and you support especially violent protests. How about you go out and protest? How about you throw the fucking Molotov? How about you raise your fist to a cop's face? How about you do something? Do fucking something other than just raising your fucking voice on the internet i say burn every building down to the ground and i don't care and i'm not taking it back and i'm not sorry you're also not willing to do it yourself because you're an intellectually dishonest fucking coward you hide behind your webcam so that you don't have to go out to the war front i guarantee if you had the match and the gasoline you wouldn't fucking burn that building down because you're a coward don't, I mean, don't tell other people to do what you're not willing to do yourself. You have the tenacity to say these things that you in no way would ever do part of. I mean, burning the buildings down? Burn the fucking buildings down and all of them. Uh, fuck it. Like, who cares if there's people inside? Let's kill all these innocent people. Let's destroy their livelihoods. Let's destroy our fucking city. Let's not try to make it better. Let's not try to win the fight. No, no, no. Let's just fuck shit up so we made our point. Yeah, that's a really smart way about going about things, Censor. I don't care about white people. I do not care about white people. I don't care about white-owned businesses. I don't care about white property. I care about black life period then good luck changing anything you racist fucking cunt are you kidding me you don't care about white people or any of their shit you don't care about white rights i'm assuming too there is no reason for anyone to rally behind your cause unless they're just as racist and blinded by ignorance as you you're a fool and you're a fucking coward. You're not willing to go out into the world and do the things that you are wanting other people to do for your cause, but you are willing to demonize and damn an entire race based off of the actions of a few. You're an idiot. Good luck to you in life. I hope you fucking die. End of story. May Freddie Gray rest in peace and rest in power. May the protesters stay safe. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Yeah, you don't want anyone to get hurt, except for, you know, the fucking white people. You want them to get hurt. But I don't have any problems with what they're doing. Money talks and bullshit walks, as I said, if they fucking destroy, the, destroy every white-owned business in that city, what happens next? Maybe then we'll get some fucking legislature. Maybe then. Maybe then they will start taking us fucking seriously and understanding that you're not going to keep killing unarmed black people and getting away with it. Not today, not in 2015. Um, so I just wanted to get this video up. That's how I feel about it because people have been asking me how I feel and what do I think. I think they're entirely within their rights. I don't care. And I guess that's the biggest problem here is that you don't care, Censor. You've made up your mind on a situation that, I mean, this is important shit, okay? Uh, th this is really important shit. A city is being destroyed. Lives are being lost on both sides. And you are just willing to keep that war raging for a make-believe cause. Everyone is a victim here. It is not just one black man. It is not just a black race. It is the human race. It is all of us. And we are being oppressed by a police state. They have too much power. And they're allowed to get away with killing citizens. Not just black citizens. They get away with killing Native Americans. They get away with killing white people. Mexicans. You fucking name it. They kill them if they want. And they get away with it. It's not about color. It, I mean, that has nothing to fucking do with it. How can you even justify these claims that you're making in this video? It's amazing, to be honest, but, you know, 
Good luck. Again, I, I hope you die. Uh, your ignorance is just astounding, and the world would be a better place without it. It really would. Um, and please, stop citing Martin Luther King. Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King was a great man, and he rallied behind a fantastic cause. Uh, and yes, he, he did condone riots, um, and he did not condone violence. He was very much so against violence, at least for that cause, because he knew it wouldn't do anything. It would hurt the movement, uh, just like it will now, and just like it is now. Uh, I mean, you're you're rallying against this invisible prejudice, uh, you know, assuming that it's all white people versus all black people. That's that's a fucking joke right there. Uh, but your attempt to to sway their opinion and to change the world is to violently lash out. Uh, well, if your claim about them being racist is correct and you lash out violently, well, they're just going to think that they were fucking right the whole time and that black people are just violent and intrinsically. I mean, we we know that's not the truth. At least I do. Uh, censor uh, this whole video. You've made me think that you believe black people are just violent and they need to let it out and shit. Uh, but I, I know that's not the truth. I, I know that everyone who is a human being on this planet is equal. No one's better than the other. No one, not you. Okay. Especially not fucking you because you're an idiot. Um, so yeah, Sunday video, I'm in my nightgown, as you guys can tell. Uh, I will be posting my Oyen Handmade Review video tomorrow, Monday. Um, and let's get ready for a great week, guys. Uh, everyone in Baltimore, please stay safe. And DC as well, for all of my um, fellow Washingtonians that are taking that trip to Baltimore to protest. Just stay safe. Um, don't get arrested, because getting arrested is trash, trust me. <laughs> uh, see you guys later. Peace. Well, I like how you ended your video with the word peace. Uh, that's pretty fucking hilarious for anyone who actually watched your video. Um, you don't want peace. Not even a little bit. But, you know, let's we, we can hide behind that at the end, so maybe they'll remember that part. You know, oh, she said peace at the end. You know, she's a peaceful person. Yeah, I'm not fucking buying it. Tool. Um, also, since, you know, we're at the end of the video here, for anyone who didn't subscribe to her video, make sure you subscribe to her channel, like her video, comment on that video, really make this stupid cunt a celebrity. Um, because the more views she gets on her page, the more money the white man Larry Page is going to give to her. And she will, of course, graciously accept it, I'm sure. Um, have a great day, fellas.